make Satan so empowered in your lineage. You see, if you fail to do such things, it means you are not ready for destiny. Do you know that this prayer this pastor prayed was just for 12, 12 minutes and a verdict came. It means God had been waiting for him to show up. As he began to re repent, he said, okay, it's all right. It's all right. The effect of that position has changed. Go. You and your family prosper. He now realized that his son that has been in college for a very long time also had that anger. And two times the school called him to report the escapades of the young man. So he called the young man, told him the prayer he prayed, and how God had forgiven their lineage and the implication of that. And then the young man now asked him, when did you pray that prayer? Father said, I prayed it about two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And the young man could recall that two weeks ago, he stopped becoming angry with the world. He, his own anger doesn't have meaning. He is angry with the whole world. <laughs> so he doesn't need anything to make him angry. He's already angry. <laughs> and if you don't deal with these issues of iniquity, as he travels to the next generation, it's more potent, more elaborate, more deepened. I've seen pastors be, that whose pastors, whose parents were pastors and they were adulterers. And they came to the pulpit. You will see that the anointing is original. But there's, there's, there is another package that comes with it. And the package becomes more robust as it travels across generations. If you are a wise man and you have seen the weakness of that generation, you will go to the court of heaven and secure judgment. That there's a provision to alter this on the strength of the new foundation upon which we dwell. The new foundation that has been, you know, established through the work of Jesus on the cross. It places us in a place of advantage where we can receive justice. Such justice that is consistent with God's good pleasure. Hallelujah. That's, that pastor's son was delivered. Because of those moments that were spent in the court of heaven. Oh my, we have taken too much time. Meanwhile, I have another issue to raise. Okay, we'll raise the issue tomorrow. Okay? I want to show you tomorrow evidences to prove that someone has contracted a spirit to fight you. There are some symptoms that will suggest that you are in the heart of a certain warfare that comes from the altar of a, a specialist in wizardry, in witchcraft. I'll show you the symptoms. I wanted to show you a few, of, but there's no time to take that. So we'll just we'll do the issue of negative inheritance. Oh, somebody in the congregation is um, is challenging me. Say, one of the scripture that says, "If any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things have passed away, and behold, all things have become new." Hallelujah. So the first question I will ask you is, Jesus paid for sickness. Do you see for sick? Or it's automatic? The um, implication of the payment have been rolled out in an automatic fashion in your life. Satan doesn't play according to the rules. He will trespass many times. Sometimes he comes into your space to check if you are knowledgeable of the fact that indeed redemption has been meted out. The reason why you can even be delivered at all is because of what Jesus did. The, the hope of deliverance is not in view at all, if not for what Jesus did. And you know it is possible for you to receive verdict from a court. And that verdict was never, never enforced. 
you can receive judgment but the judgment is never enforced and your situation will remain the same so why we do this kind of stuff that we are about to do now is so that we can bring enforcement several things and we are trusting god that through our interfacing with the court of heaven we are going to receive verdicts from god and we are going to use it to enforce his will in your life through the agency of the anointing i need to also um reveal to you that um the ministry of jesus was fourfold he preached he taught he healed and he cast out devils don't forget that he preached he taught he healed and he did what he cast out devils if i had time i would have spoken a little about my experience in riverine areas like mccordy like river state cross river state river line <laughs> uh, well we, we don't have time but we're going to pray we're going into the court of heaven and you're standing as a representative of your family and we're going to bring repentance we're going to bring repentance and when we have done that i will begin to pray then you will begin to see satan literally releasing people here today has <laughs> you know one thing about the word of god it is true it is true it is true negative inheritances negative inheritances Many years ago, God had told me, he said, um, the day you will start losing out is when you practice unauthorized sex. There are several scenes that are linked to some judgments in the court of heaven. Many times God will come and warn you, no. And you will think it's only you is warning because the other people are, are doing it. And then, you don't understand the shape the shape of, of justice he's trying to <laughs> protect you I cannot afford immorality when I'm about to leave you people I will come one day here and say it's five years for me to go if there's anybody that has evidence that they saw my nakedness you, you have three years to speak Because we are taking that gospel to the end of the earth in our time. That's what we live for. And oh my. As it stands now, my vision is 10 million souls before I'm 50. 10 million. We look for them anywhere they are. We need to remove every obstruction that we stand against the greatness that God has programmed in your destiny. Can you can you rise on your feet? We we'll just do. Oh, you see the oil is already dropping. Samaya Kurasiko. Mebrisko falama sai toko brelo mosila. Abrata baburo kosila etamunda. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. So imagine that we are standing before God now. Forget about your neighbor. We are going to make some confessions. Can you say, Lord Jesus, I approach you today concerning my lineage, concerning my bloodline. Father, have mercy. Every platform of iniquity, every platform of self-will, against your will works of rebellion that were done against you that empowers the enemy to manipulate the lives of the members of my genealogy i bring repentance have mercy have mercy have mercy, have mercy. Have mercy. 
in the name of Jesus. We come by the blood. I can't hear you. We come by the blood. We come by the blood. We come by the blood. Lord have mercy. In the name of Jesus. Let the ground that Satan has exploited over the generations, let that ground be taken away by the blood of Jesus. Sicknesses that were judgments that resulted from such transactions that took place, Lord, we overcome it by the blood of Jesus. Unnatural poverty that were products of such transactions, we overcome it by the blood of Jesus. Strange, uncontrollable sexual passions that are results of such transactions against us we overcome it in the name of Jesus expose us to the spirit of death that is a result of rebellion worship of idols transactions with evil spirits Lord have mercy Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Tonight, let the yoke break in the name of Jesus. Don't worry. You will see reaction here today. We are in the court. We are in the court. Father, let it please you to release, to break the chains in the name of Jesus. Now, ushers, just get set. Lord, let it please you now. Those ones held. Evil spirits have been dispatched. Evil spirits they were supposed to serve. But they have rejected them because of salvation. And those spirits are still disturbing. Those spirits are still troubling. Lord, let those chains break. 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 Break, break in the name of Jesus. So you will begin to see Satan will begin to release his captives now. Oh, I see a lady. I see a lady, and there's something moving in your, your stomach. You're feeling a movement, it's becoming intense. It's becoming intense. So, Satan, I command you take off your hands in the name of Jesus. Ushers, as you find them, bring them. Now, you are beginning to see the reactions taking place. Oh, she alo kope la inse. Brekute suke kubakutela. Mesh kuvila hiko batane. Avai toko peskuta manteli. These are, these are issues, all right? From the court, they are being released. They are being released. They are being released from the court. Now, where are the camera people? I want you to show them. Show them so that the people watching will know that we are not joking. My oh blood, you destroyed principality. Jesus, Jesus, and by your name, you establish authority, Jesus, Jesus. 
Jesus the righteous by your blood and for Feli Mamba City Allah Jesus Jesus and by your name to establish authority Jesus Jesus Listen to me. Listen to me. You know, yesterday I got a mail. I got a mail from a white woman in Finland. Described her spiritual situation, the, all kinds of things and all of that. I said, all right, send us your number. And she sent the number, put her on a Facebook video. And uh, she didn't know who respond. And I, I called my wife. said, sit down here. This is practical. And I pointed the woman. I told her, do you experience this? She said, yes. You experience this? You see this? You see that? Okay. It means you have been dedicated to an altar. You are supposed to serve a spirit. And that's why you have these symptoms. Well, how do you know? I said, <laughs> uh, there are a lot of those things here. All right. Okay, put your hand on your umbilical cord. That one, I got it from the Holy Ghost. All, okay. Don't use it as a formula. Then I began to pray for her, and then she began to manifest on the video. Prayed for her, and then released God's blessings and left. I said, you tell me what happens to you by tomorrow. She had a dream and saw all the stuff. This, she told me that in Finland, let me leave you. The pastors couldn't handle it. Oh, they say, oh, when a, when, when a pastor comes to attempt handling it, maybe the demons will attack. You know what? They will attack you if you are not sold out. I'm not living for anything again. There's no demon anywhere, even the one at Bermuda Triangle. No demon anywhere. This morning she sent a testimony. I don't know how long she's been in that condition. Now, what I'm talking about is not based on time. Are you with me? Now, there's somebody in this auditorium, you were supposed to serve a spirit. Listen, listen to me. You're supposed to serve an evil spirit, a water spirit, a spirit from the water. Because of that inheritance, you've been exposed spiritually. But, you see, God has given me wisdom as to how your freedom, okay. That's one. I'm just talking about it. It's a, that's one. That's not, that's not all. Jesus. So you would think that in, in, in the world of the whites, there's this kind of thing that don't exist. You are wrong. The atmosphere of Macon is better than many cities in Europe. And it's God's good will for us to export apostolic Christianity back to Europe. There are many trips we are going to make as a team to Europe to evangelize again. So the Lord has given me wisdom on how we can tackle the case. You see, she's innocent. This lady, she's innocent. Wonderful young lady. But it's not about whether you are wonderful. It's about the legalities. Don't worry, she'll be free tonight. She'll be free tonight. Jesus. Now, you see, this my camera people, you are going to be sacked after this service. The people I want to know that 
that this thing is real are in London. You are showing people's lipstick. In fact, we need to conduct deliverance for <laughs> the emphasis is lipstick. They zoom it. They zoom. Now, you see, are you with me? You are not with me. You are not with me. Yeah. You see, it, this thing is legal. It's not as if, it's not as if Satan is strong. Ooh, you see? There's even someone here in a more terrible case. I'm seeing the spirit. I'm seeing the spirit. It's a reptile. It's in the shape of of a raptor, but that person will be delivered. Now, this is what Jesus told me just now. He said, he said, ask them to say my name seven times. That's Jesus. <laughs> can we can we try? So if I say in the name of Jesus, okay, how we do? As you normally done. Okay, one, then you say two, three, after seven, keep quiet. Anyone that is here. That there's a heritage, a spiritual heritage that is manipulating their destiny, you will see they will be plucked out. And then we can cast out the spirits and, 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 and liberate the people. So let's try. Number one. Jesus! Now listen, I'm seeing a grave. I'm seeing a grave that is opening. A grave. A grave. A grave. It means that uh, one of us here, you come from a family of necromancers, people that consult with the dead. And a lot of damage has been done to your destiny because of that spiritual act that has taken root in your family. And even though you have given your life to Christ, it, it, it is an offense.